What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can manually install Android 8.0 audio official update via the official method well I wasn't actually going to make a video on this topic because literally it's a two year old device and pretty much all of you who own this phone must be knowing how to install the Android audio update manually via Odin well I wasn't right many of you guys don't have an idea what Odin even actually is and the second point why I wasn't going to make this video I thought Samsung delayed this update so much like literally it's May and Android P is almost being final and still Samsung is not pushing out to the major countries like India still hasn't received the Android 8.0 audio update for the S7 Edge which is just I have no words for Samsung so I'm going to show you how you can get it on your S7 Edge no matter which country you live and I really suggest to just take a full backup of your phone and wipe cause Android 8.0 audio changes a lot of things cause Samsung has actually changed the file system and it really like sprinkles a new life into this two year old flagship and it runs just flawless like look at the performance you can just tap app and it just opens it's that quick so I would really suggest to just wipe your phone while installing in this thing and yes I am actually switching countries so right now I'm using Vietnamese one which has leaked so if you have not actually checked my full audio review you can press the I button over here I have done it months back and this is actually a custom ROM as you can see magic's over here so I would be now switching it to the stock which will automatically reset it so I have actually taken a full backup using Samsung cloud you can do the same thing or use any kind of root app such as titanium backup so let's just begin first of all you have to just go to settings scrolling down in about phone if you go to software information you will find something called build number you have to just uh, tap it multiple times until you enable the developer options i hope you can hear me clearly because i don't want anyone messing up in this procedure go into the developer options turn on oem unlock at bottom turn on usb debugging select ok this is just to avoid any kind of bugs which you might be getting as android 8.0 audio files have been a bit changed and now you have to just power off your phone just like that okay once that is done you have to just hop onto your pc and i will actually provide one more file called samsung usb driver you have to also install that once you reboot your system just come back to this website which i will leave a link in the description everything is just down there and you have to just go to sam mobile firmware site and oh here you have to just type in the model number which would be 935 for the s7 edge and 930 for the standard s7 actually as you can see both of them are over here like most popular phones searched over here just amazing and for the Indian models you have to actually type in FD not only Indian if you just don't find your normal firmware into this two you have to just add an D over there or even if you have any kind of another phone just check in about phone section so mine is FD as I live in India but Indian S7 Edge actually hasn't received the Android Oreo update as of yet so I will be installing and in German as um, S7 Edge is my mom's phone and she doesn't actually need any kind of more Indian features such as Volti and German firmware actually provides much more better battery life compared to the another region such as Dubai or India so I would be installing the German one so I would be choosing normal 935F as you can see there has been out for United Kingdom the BTU and if you want to select your country you can just go here and just search for your country as you can see there is no India mentioned over here cause Indian is FD you have to just keep that in mind but I would be just going with United Kingdom and you have to actually make an Sam mobile account in order to download this firmware once you just sign in you have to just join to download cause you are just using it once time so once you have downloaded the whole firmware as you can see it's on my PC the BTU firmware I have extracted it to a folder there you go the five files and then you have to also download Odin which is the actual flasher for our phone once that is done just minimize it go to the folder which you have extracted and if you find APO here just a quick tip just rename it and delete the MD5 after it this will save a whole lot of time and if the app crashes for you this is might be a quick fix cause it is a 4 gig file and it takes a whole lot of time to scan even I would suggest to just rename CSC2 then go back to the Odin again and as I rooted my S7 Edge and I am going to the stock firmware it would just automatically get resetted so let's just reset it normally go into the options you have to also select NAND erase this will just purely cleanse your S7 Edge and go back to the lock select AP AP for AP open BL for BL the bootloader CP for CP and now for CSC as you can see there are two files over here the home csc and the csc now listen me carefully don't mess this up 
if you are resetting your phone just go with the csc if you are just switching your country such as right now i have installed a vietnamese now i'm going to the german you have to actually flash the csc but for example as i live in india my s7 edge is an indian s7 edge and i had indian firmware and i'm switching to an indian oreo firmware I would choose an home CSC. This will not erase my phone at all. But if you select CSC, your phone will actually get erased. So if you just don't want to erase your phone and you are staying in the same country, just flash the home CSC. But as I'm switching countries, CSC for me, open. I know this is a bit tricky part, but just listen carefully. Attach the USB to your laptop or PC that you have. Grab your S7 Edge. Hold on your home, power and volume down at the same time. Just like this, once you see this, Press volume up, connect the phone. If you have installed the USB drivers correctly, it should be saying COM9 or 7 according to the USB driver and hit start. And this process would actually take 1 to 2 minutes. And after 5 to 7 minutes, our phone is finally back up. The ROM has been successfully installed and let's just hit start. Select next, I will just do this quickly. There you go, that's how your phone looks. There is the Samsung Pay over here at the bottom. Pretty cool touch. Then the home screen looks a bit changed. I mean, it's pretty much the same, the alignment of it. As you can see, the weather is on the left. It wasn't right there in the Vietnamese firmware, but it is there in the BTU. I hope so. It's the final changes that Samsung made. Scrolling down, software info, Android version 8.0.0. So yeah, even if your country hasn't actually received, and if you don't want your normal country features such as Volte in India, you can actually install Android Oreo in any country that you like, even if you live in Antarctica. So I guess, I helped you guys in this part and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos on S7 Edge which I would be putting out later on, please subscribe down there and see you in the next one. Peace.